Hi, Bob Wilkins back again. In this video, I will show you how to add LEDs to a non-operating HO scale block signal. Then we will operate the signal manually using a switch and then automatically using a signal circuit board. The signals used are made by Backman and are available in packs of four signals. They are non-operational and have a red and green plastic jewel in the aspects. The first step in preparing the signal is to remove the plastic red and green jewels from this signal aspect. This is accomplished by carefully pushing out the jewel from the front of the signal using a small metal punch or the tip of a round file. Next, widen the hole in the targets to about an eighth of an inch to accommodate the LEDs. Use a drill bit or file, carefully rotating it by hand to widen the holes. Remove the ladder by gently separating it off the platform and out of the base sockets. Snip out the center part of the platform. The wires here will run down between the platform and the ladder. Next, drill a small hole in the base of the signal just behind the stem and between the ladder insert holes. Here the wires will pass through. Start with a small pilot hole, say a sixteenth of an inch, and widen it to three thirty seconds of an inch. The next step involves preparation of the LEDs. A 3mm green and red LED are used. Decide if you want green over red, which is more prototypical as shown here, or red over green as seen with traffic lights. The LED lead wires are uneven. The longer lead is the positive anode and the shorter lead is the negative cathode. Bend these leads over as shown. The positive lead of the red will be soldered to the negative lead of the green LED. Here the LEDs have been soldered together. Trim off the excess leads to a length of around a quarter of an inch that will be just short of the distance from the signal aspect to the signal platform. Now cut two seven inch pieces of 26 gauge solid wire and trim off a quarter of an inch of the insulation from both ends. The wires are then soldered to the LED leads. Cover the solder joints with heat shrink tubing and heat shrink it over these connections. This will help prevent short circuits. Next insert the LEDs into the socket and they, they can be glued with a small dab of CA glue. Insert the wires into the drilled hole in the base of the signal and pull both wires through until taut. Push the wires into the groove in the, into the platform, reinsert the ladder into the sockets and glue with a small dab of glue at the top. The exposed wires at the back of the LEDs uh, can be blackened with black felt pen or paint. The modification is finished and the signal is ready. But don't test the lights without a resistor in place. A 600 to 1000 ohm resistor can be used with a wire connected to a 9 volt battery. For manual operation of the signal, we use a double pole single throw switch connected to a 9 volt battery pack with an LED driver chip installed. This chip will limit current flow into the circuit to 20 milliamps. Details on how to construct and employ this circuit are described at the website modeltrainsounds.com under Project 12B. The signal supplied with this kit has been modified with LEDs already installed. Soldering of some wires is still required. 
A kit is available with all these components along with instructions for those who would like to try this project. The electronic circuit is displayed here. The manually operated switch will change the direction of the current through the circuit allowing you to change the signal from green to red and back again. In this example, the signal has been set to red, requiring the operator to stop the train. The switch is flipped to display the green and the train can proceed. After passing, the signal is again switched to red till the train is clear. At this time, it can be switched back to green. All this manual switching is fine, but can be tedious. So an automated switching process was sought. In this case, a signal circuit board is used, which has a relay that reverses current flow to the signal. A potentiometer on the board adjusts the time delay for the red LED to display. The resistors shown limit the output current to the signal to around 20 milliamps. This relay is activated by a trigger mechanism. In this case, the trigger mechanism used to activate the relay is accomplished by using a reed switch set in the track with wires running to the signal circuit board. The reed switch in turn is activated by a small powerful neodymium magnet attached to the locomotive's undercarriage. When the locomotive crosses over the switch, the relay is activated to turn the signal from green to red. The signal remains red for a period of up to 20 seconds while the locomotive clears the block. This video shows the automated process in operation. The power for this operation is a 9 volt DC power adapter wall unit rather than a 9 volt battery. While a battery will work, its lifespan has been found to be short at around 12 hours of continuous use and is not recommended. The kit is also available with and without the power source as one adapter unit can power up to five signals using a power distribution board. This power distribution board is also available at the website and is explained in a later project. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check the website for more projects and information. Also, subscribe to be updated on future projects.